Hello and welcome to episode 7 of my Age of Empires 2 HD Edition Tutorial Let's Play series. This episode will be on continuing the tutorial campaign Forge an Alliance. Um, now what I'm going to do is go through filling up all the towers so I need two more archers for there. Oh. Have a look. So let's just garrison Done cut. two. Kid. Done cut. This tower has room for one more. Bugger it. I thought you said bugger it. Never mind. Fall Maybe that's in. my corrupted mind. Okay, so that'll fill that one up. How many in there? We can fit two. Bugger it. See, it definitely sounds like he's saying bugger it, but never mind. Fall okay, this one, I want to get my. peasant out and fill it now with archers Done cut. so I want three Hello. more Done cut. Burger it. Done cut. Done cut. so they'll now protect this area let's build another tower there. I'm trying to get them all within range of each other because when foot soldiers attack a tower the tower can't attack the foot soldiers that is attacking it they can only attack uh, enemies that are not touching not very close so that's why I keep them spaced apart like that okay so we got five more archers let's just make sure we got a load more still wrapped up ah oh, we can do upgrades now so let's upgrade to crossbowmen that will give them more damage um, blacksmiths, let's do the line of sight and range. Uh, let's do line of sight of all buildings. Yeah, we definitely want that. So we're basically going through now. Oh, we need to do food because the food run out. Make sure you don't forget to do your food, otherwise if you run out of food, you'll run out of soldiers. There we go, let's do the upgrade for that, which gives us more food. Let's make sure there's a load of farms queued up as well. There we go, that stops them running out. Okay, so we can't send a, a monk over yet to grab the other relic because they'll get killed. So let's keep upgrading our archers. Towers and castles and archers. Cool. Right, let's send more archers over there. Oh, have I run out of something? Let's take a look. Yeah, wood. Right, time to do more woodcutters. So I've got the maximum building, so I may as well be getting him to cut wood. Let's do another wood upgrade. Oh, I can't yet. Yeah, not enough wood. Let's see. Any yeah. idol? Any yeah. other idol? Wow, they gathered that stone quickly. Right, so may as well just get them gathering wood now. That's, I think we've got enough stone for now. So let's bring them over here and they can build a wood cutting camp. Oh, not enough wood. Alright, let's just get more cutting over there. I don't understand how them five chopped up all that stone and these have hardly touched the gold. So we've got one group of slackers and one group that just did a really good job. Anyway, enough waffle, let's fill this tower up. They're destroying our enemy's settlement, which we don't want. So let's build another tower to deal with them. Just there. No, don't you go attacking. If they attack, they'll withdraw their attention. I'll keep them back here. 
Now, if they can build that tower, I can put these archers in that tower, and that tower should start attacking these. See, they're destroying the enemy. My my uh, my um, alliance partner. Now, that's the one thing I don't want them to destroy, their market, because that's a source of infinite gold for trading. Okay, wood is going up, that's good. Once this tower's built, I'll garrison all three of them. Right, quickly garrison. Look at that, look at the towers deal with them. How cool is that? And now they will deal with these. Right, now, I need this peasant, because what they need to do is quickly repair the enemy structure. That's uh, not the enemy, my alliance partner. We, I don't want his buildings to get destroyed. Or am I too late? I think I'm too late, it's gone. Yeah, no, it's alright, they only lost one building. Now I can send my monk over here oh. to gather the uh, artifact that's in there. What I will do though is another tower because I am expecting the enemy to attack me in force. So I wonder if I can get towers over here now. Hmm, I don't know if I can. So let's first build one here. using up my stone each time I build but I've got no choice okay I've got loads of woodcutters so they should be gathering let's upgrade to get it even quicker what do, can we upgrade nothing that's all done what about let's get a monk over to here now so we can get that artifact I won't do the elite skirmishes yet. Let's do increase the line of sight of all buildings. Yep. Okay, that's all the woodcutters upgrades done. Now, what we need is let's get him up here. What we need is a market. So we've got an infinite source of gold. So I'll get this peasant to build a market. We'll pull it right next to this, so it's protected by our town centre. Let's get our monk to gather the artifact. Near flames, it must be from that field. Never mind. Yeah. Okay, yeah. and they said the artifacts up this way. Yeah. Bid fear. Toe. Yeah. There we go. Bid fear. So I'll get him to grab that. Now go back to here, my village, and right click on the Have a market. The market can create trade cards to generate extra gold. You can also exchange one resource for another at the market for a small fee. Click the market, then click sell food for gold. Okay, so we're going to build a trade cart because that will get us um, be an unlimited source of gold slow but it will keep getting us gold with all its trips and it won't cost us anything apart from the cost of building the um, trade cart so once that's built I'll show you how it works this is one of um, one of the best in my opinion features of Age of Empires is just fantastic the way you can send trade carts back and forth absolutely love it and you can do it with boats you okay, made so a trade card. 
if you click the trade card on your allies market, you can make extra gold. Your trade card will automatically make trips between your and your allies market. There we are. So select the uh, trade card, go over here to my ally, right click on their market. Now this trade card will just indefinitely keep going back and forth between the allies and my own town bringing me gold. That's it. Now, the next thing to do... You now have two relics garrison. Bring back one more and you'll be victorious! Okay, now, so, the next thing to do is I want archery rangers a bit closer to the enemy. And I want to build a siege workshop. So we'll start with an archery range there. How much does it cost to build that? Uh, 175 wood. Oh, that's all right. We've got loads of wood. I wonder why that cow keeps talking to me. Anyway, right, so let's use our other archery range to keep making troops. We've got a bit of wood now. I need to make sure though I need I leave at least for free um, siege equipments that I'm gonna need. At least free. Okay, can we upgrade again to Imperial Age? Let's do that upgrade. I just generally do all the upgrades, why not? Uh, padded armor for my archers. So let's do that. There's the trade cart. See, he's coming back and he's bringing 28 gold with him. All right, may not sound like much, but it's something for nothing. Can't turn your nose up at that. And there he goes back and he'll just keep doing the same, filling my coffers up with gold. How cool. And with gold, I can buy stone. And with the stone, I can build more towers. You see how it is. Okay, so let's garrison this archer. I'm expecting the enemy to start coming out of their gates, and when they do, they'll get a nasty surprise. All my towers full of archers. Okay, we've got another archery. Now we want the siege equipment, so let's build that. And that's all we're going to use is archers and siege equipment. Let's put that there. This one, let's put the archers to come out there. Oh no, I better not do so many. To cancel them, just left click. Let's go back here. I need to get some siege equipment made before I start going mad on archers. Let's change where their rally point is to there. Right, okay, siege workshops built. We can build battering rams, monk mangonels, and scorpions. All three are very cool, so I'll have two of each, I think. So one, two, one, two, one, two, to start with. Let's assemble them there. Okay, so these towers fall now. Put one more in there. That's full, that's full. Now what I'll be doing is bringing my archers from the rear out of these towers and throwing them to the forefront. Okay, we got one battering ram. Ideally I think I'd want about five to get the job done. Goes my trader. Okay, so just waiting now for the these mongrels. Now I'm going to put them at the front here, so they'll be protected by the archery towers and the archers. Put them just there, 
and I want them to, well, there's the time, I want them to stand their ground. I don't want them to keep moving around the map chasing the enemy. I want them just to be here at the front and shoot at anything that comes out them gates. There's another one, let's put him there. We'll get these archers a bit closer, stand their ground as well. Done cut. Because I don't want them moving from there. <clears throat> These scorpions I'll put beside my arch my archery towers. They can stand ground as well. I'm basically making sure no enemy can advance past this. And I know I've got it down here as well, so maybe I need to beef that up, but I'm running out of troop space. Let's put this one over here. And then once I've got all my troops in position, I'm going to start advancing slowly with the mangonels to take out the gates. Once the gates are taken out, then I can start streaming in. Okay, I don't. I want them to stand ground as well. Don't want them to keep moving. Okay, so let's see. I've got seven left. So let's do another round, another mangonel, and another scorpion. If in doubt, just do another one of each. Okay, let's start getting their attention. So let's attack and see how close he's got to get. Oh, he's getting quite. There we go. He's got a little bit this way. Now the enemy's probably going to come out and attack me. Here they come. Regular spot work. Quickly take him back. Now hopefully my defences will kick in. Oh look, they streamed out the other game as well. Mm, look at that. Okay, so that's told me I do need the defences down there as well. So Manganel... Manganel I'll put there. Yes, see, annihilating them, annihilating. Let's get this other scorpion put there. The mangonel, I'll oh, stand his ground. Mangonel can stay there, stand ground. Battering ram is going to come to this oh. position. And I can make one more of each. Uh, I'm going to put another scorpion here and another mangonel here. Then that should be the enemy hemmed in. But we shall continue this in the next episode. Because the timer did go and I could just go on and on and on. I love this game. Wherever you are in the world, God bless you and keep every last one of you safe. Thank you for watching and have a fantastic day. Goodbye.